hello welcome back to my channel so today I decided to do a back to school look naturalistic makeup which is a very light on the eyes just a very you know pop in highlight like always um, just you know some color on the lips very very affordable makeup but I feel it's affordable the, I think the only like expensive thing I have on here is eyeshadow but that's a must because that gives me everything I need and then I did a little hairstyle for you guys today very easy but yeah, so if you guys keep want to keep on watching, just go ahead. If not, I'll see you guys later. Bye. So I'm just going to brush out my eyebrows right now. And this, I'm just using the Morphe. This is just one of their eyebrow brushes with the spoolie at the end. And then I'm going to use my MAC 208 brush. I know it's not drugstore or cheap, this brush, but this is the only angled brush that I like to use for my eyebrows. And I'm using the e.l.f. Eyebrow Pomade in Dark. I'm just going to dip it into the wax. I'm going in with my Morphe 25A palette. I know this palette's like not cheap cheap. Cheap cheap? But it has like all the colors you can use for like everything. So like I'm going to dip into the black and the brown for my eyeshadow. I use it for my eyeliner. Basically it's a universal palette. At me Morphe. At me. Okay after that I'm going to just start to shape them. And I'm going to use that same brush that I used to brush out my eyebrows with just the other end of that brush and I'm going to go in with the same um, concealer it's just the fit me Maybelline fit me in fair okay afterwards I'm going to use my elf eyebrow gel just so that they don't go anywhere afterwards I'm going to go back with the concealer and just use this as a base for my eyelids real techniques brush and this is just like their flat angle brush the ones I always use I'm just going to go in with this top one right here mix in with this one just because it gives me like the base that I want and then for eyeshadow I'm gonna go with a very mm, minimalistic makeup look today because usually I really don't even have time to do my makeup and I just do like eyeliner or whatever just do like eyeliner and my eyelashes plus my eyebrows again I'm just gonna go in with like a a flat shader brush this is just a morphe b84 brush hmm i think i'm gonna go with this brown right here you can skip this eyeshadow part but i just like putting it a little bit just for some dimension and then i'm gonna go in with a blending brush and i'm gonna go in with third color the third and the fourth color from the palette and i'm just gonna use this as my blending color so basically for my blending I do a circle, circular motion towards the end of my eye. So I basically go like this, but in little circles. And then towards the end, that's when I do like my windshield wiper motion. And by the way, I'm using all the brushes I'm using are from Morphe before I forget to tell you. This is my Morphe M533 brush, and I'm just gonna use that to just blend it. And I don't think I really need to like put any highlight color on my brow bone right now just because since I use that light concealer, that just gives me a little bit of oomph. Mm, it doesn't have a name, but it does say Morphe. This is just like a very, um, really tiny flat angle brush. This is the one I usually use in my videos now. It's just, it makes it so much easier. Then we'll go with black and brown, so I'm just gonna mix them in. Usually the same color I use for my eyebrows. Okay, and I'm just going to take the top part of it and I'm gonna do a very thin line same colors and I'm gonna do my wing because I don't go nowhere without a wing unless it comes off at the end of the day and then I take it off but still so I'm just gonna take it from the inner corner inner part of my eye, the outer part of my eye and I'm just gonna bring it out just a little bit and I'm just going to bring it inwards now to fix my eyeliner because the bottom part is ugly I go back with a concealer and this is just like a more skin tone concealer. Oh my god, I have to sneeze. I couldn't. And I just put a little bit at the back of my hand, just like that. I go in with that same brush I used to shape my eyebrows with, so that skinny angular brush. And I just like to just go like this and blend it, put some on that brush, just a little bit, not a lot. And then I like to go underneath my eyeliner. Okay, so now I'm going to do my eyelashes. I'm just using uh, my Revlon eyelash curler. If people don't have time to, you don't have to. If you have naturally luscious eyelashes, must be nice. Can't relate. 
but you don't have you can like skip the whole eyelash part like when I put them on by the way the mascara that I use I honestly don't know what it's called and it's off already like the whole writing's off on it but this is like a good mascara that I like using like since my eyelashes are really hard to curl or like to stay curled but I do see an I and I do see an M but I will put the brand if I, when I find it on, in the description box because that's where I usually put all the items that I use. And then I'm going to go in with my Lash Sensational Mascara from Maybelline in Waterproof because this is also something that only keeps it curled. And this is in the Curvitude. So it has like that really thin um, kind of brush. So while I'm letting my eyelashes dry, I'm going to put on some white eyeliner just to make my eyes look a little bit brighter. My NYX Faux White in seashell then i'm gonna go over my um eyeliner doing that dry for now okay and then i'm gonna start working on my face so i have already applied my toner which is my dickinson's witch hazel so for my moisture for my sunscreen though i use the biore uv aqua rich watery essence with spf 50. so for foundations today i think i'm gonna use a mixture of l'oreal true match and maybelline fit me just color wise because this one's a little too dark for me right now and then this one's a little too light but I'm just gonna dip a little bit of this onto my the back of my hand and then I'm gonna do the same for the fit me by the way the fit me that I'm using is in 115 ivory and then the L'Oreal true match that I'm using is in buff beige and four and for my foundation brush I'm gonna use my real techniques and then I'm just going to apply this to my face and then I'm just gonna blend this all out okay so i'm not gonna go in with any concealer because i just feel like i just don't need it for today back to school i'm good as long as my face looks fine i'm good mm -hmm. this is the same one i always use which is just the airspun loose powder and this was in translucent also um a little you know a little tip i learned this from youtubers a while ago if you wet your bread if you wet your beauty blender i'm just going to wet it a bit with my coffee mm -hmm. bougie i know and then you dip it inside your loose powder I'm just going to basically like bake my face uh, just a little bit just so that it can like my smile lines don't come up as often because I don't know it makes me look even older than I am so I just like to put a little bit on my smile lines and just tap it in there and then I let that sink in for a little bit while I finish the rest of my eyes and for my, the rest of my eyes, I'm not really going to do much with it anymore, but I am going to go in with that same brush that I used to um, put that first eyeshadow color on. Not the not the big one, but this one. I'm going to put a little bit underneath my eyes. I'm going to go in with some chapstick first. And I'm using the Nivea Milk and Honey. For lip liner today, I'm gonna go in with NYX's lip liner crayon and I don't know that's a name because it says ever and it says I think it's two two joys two joys I don't know but anyways it says SPL eight two eight. I'm gonna go with this one which is in San Paolo. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. And it's a very like pinky tone and I'm just gonna put a little bit like on the inner part of my lips. And then I'm just like to, I'm just gonna blot that just so that it becomes more like of a tint. So I just like to take my napkin and just go like that. Mm -mm -mm. Then I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. brush, my e.l.f. powder brush. And I'm just going to 
put another dusting of powder on. Now, for the most important part, which is highlight, you know, always. I'm gonna go with L'Oreal's True Match Lumi Liquid Glow Illuminator in Ice Glaze Glacé. I always use this one now, but it's really pretty. So I just put that on the high points of my cheeks. This is just like the base for my highlight, just so that it has something more to stick on to. I mean, if you're not a real big fan of highlights, you can just use this if you want to, or you can even skip the whole highlight section. So I have two Academy of Color highlighters on me right now, which one of them is this really pretty gold highlight, and I haven't used this one yet, but I'm like, look at it. I'm like, oof. And then I also have this one by the same brand. And you can get these like at Kohl's because that's where I got it from. And this one is the I Believe in Unicorns palette. And I, you can tell them I already used it a lot. But it has like the white, the golds, and then a pink one. And you can tell that I use that pink one a lot. And then this one's range. Like this one was like 10 bucks. This one is five. But I like this one just because you get more. I think I'm gonna just go in with this one though. And I'm gonna use my Real Techniques Rose Gold Taper Brush in number 300. And I'm gonna go in with these two colors, which is this gold one, which is in Fortune, and the other one is in Spiritual, and I just like to mix these two. I'm just gonna put that on top. And then to set my face, I'm going to use the um, thing size spray that I mentioned earlier, which is the NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. For my hair today, I think I'm going to do my braids. So basically, I'm just going to put my hair like this. And it's just like a quick thing for school because, or else I would just leave it down. But since I don't really want to, like just fully down. I'm gonna brush my hair. I'm just using my wet brush. I need to, I'm gonna get a haircut though, because. So, what you're gonna need is a rubber band and a bobby pin if you need it. Okay. And then I take a little piece from my hair right here, about this much. And then I like to just bring the rest of it towards the back. Okay, and then I just start braiding this part. So, basically, I split it into three parts and then I just start braiding and then I just tie it like this for now just to keep this out the way and then I'm gonna do the same on this side okay after that's done I like to just take it and then you're basically just going to Bring them both to the back of your head. Then you're just gonna tie them both together. And then I just like to take a bobby pin and just hold it towards the places I feel like need it. And then I like to curl my bangs inwards. So with the flat iron, I just go like this and it gives like a little curl. So I'm gonna go do that really quick. This, but yeah, this is how I usually would do my hair and like my um, my makeup for school. I've been like lately, I've been maybe liking like these naturalisk makeup looks, especially now that fall's coming around. I'm very excited to play with a lot of the browns, the reds, the burgundies. I bought so much. <sighs> I'm just excited. I am excited. I'm also gonna hopefully do a giveaway soon once I reach my 100 subscribers or anything or maybe 70 I'm still deciding let me know which kind of videos you guys like as always if you guys do enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up also if you guys would like to please subscribe you know just hit the little red button okay so thank you for watching and goodbye i'll see you guys later
take online classes. What am I doing? Yes, yes, yes.